Welcome back. If you're not already familiar with what this is, this is a reflector. On the other side, we've got a beam detector. Tonight we're going to be testing this and just going over the basics of how it works. I haven't seen any other YouTubers make a video on this, uh, so this could quite possibly be a first for a fire alarm enthusiast. But let me know in the comments if there is another video, because I'd love to see it. So I spent about half the night trying to align this thing because it's uh, this room is not really big enough for it and it just kind of behaves a bit strangely. But in the end, I got it aligned and it's working fine. You can see the normal pole light is flashing on there. So we've got the normal indication light, a defect light and a fire uh, LED. You can also get a remote test switch for these, uh, but I don't have one in this case. Okay, we'll get on to uh, testing it before this video gets too long and we're going to be doing this a little bit unconventionally. Since it is in quite a small room, um, it's not exactly the most sensitive detector, so we'll be using a smoke machine to set it off. I think this is going to be quite cool. Just a quick overview of how these work. It has an infrared transmitter and an infrared receiver. It shoots an infrared beam over to the reflector then the reflector reflects it back to the bottom sensor, I'm pretty sure it is. And then if smoke starts obstructing that sensor, or the, the infrared beam, it will uh, send a different value because less infrared light is getting back to the, to the sensor there. Enough technical details, let's get on to testing it. Uh, there is two types of beam detectors. This one is uh, passive, which means the infrared uh, transmitter and receiver are both in here and then it just uses a reflector. <clears throat> there is another version which has uh, a separate infrared transmitter and an infrared uh, receiver. Okay, let's test this thing. That should be more than enough smoke. I've covered up my normal smoke alarm so it won't give a false reading. And now we wait. system has operated. Stand by for further instructions. Warning! The fire alarm system has operated. Stand by for further instructions. Okay, that's pretty much the basics of how it works. I'll open up some windows and doors now and uh, get all the smoke cleared out. Let's go ahead and reset the system now. I'm pretty sure it's going to go off again, but that's alright. You can see LED Mimic 1, which is this amplifier, is missing because that's the inside amplifier and uh, I don't want the alarms going off inside. Uh, reset. Knowledge. Next. And reset. Okay, so that's the basics of beam detection. Uh, this is only a demonstration. I can't really see a purpose of this in the house possibly in the roof space but it is a smoke detection I would prefer heat detection in the roof space but it's really cool to have and I haven't seen any other videos on this uh, so I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more interesting videos such as uh, monitor modules acclimatic detectors and an intercom system thanks for watching